Hey there, art journalers, or want to be art journalers. Um, Anybody can be an art journaler. I had taken about a month off because I was busy doing fun, wonderful things. And even though I've already posted a video since I've been back, this was actually the page that I started working on first. And I wanted to show you how I um, got to a point where I really didn't like it. And I let it set for a few days, hoping that I would come back with some inspiration, but it just bugged me. But before I show you what I did to fix my page or save the page that I didn't really like, um, I just want to say that one of the best advice I got from my Facebook group, which is where I reached out for some advice on how to improve my page or save the page, was just move on. Just turn the page and go to another page, (laughs) which I chose not to do, but I thought, you know, that was really good because sometimes we can get into a perfectionist mindset and think that every page has to be spectacular. And part of art journaling is just letting things flow. And so sometimes they're not going to turn out like as amazing as we visualize and that's okay. But I did decide that I was going to um, work on it, but this was all before. (laughs) So backing up, you saw me make some, a lot of vertical lines with my Posca pens over my pre-made page. Uh, This is part of a composition notebook journal, art journal series where I pre-made 44 layouts, um, which um, I think the term is seeded, which basically started with some background. So as a jumping off point for my creative process. So um, I started with those horizontal lines and not not horizontal, sorry, vertical. And I loved it, but um, wanted to experiment and try something new. And I have been seeing um, videos and about making a master board, which is what I'm doing here. So I took a totally different piece of scrap paper. Um, and first I collaged over it with scrapbook paper that I just had in my stash from, I don't know, years ago. And chose some colors that kind of coordinated, at least didn't clash with um, the base page. And I am just marking it up, scribbling all over it, trying some different things. Um, I tried with some of those um, distress ink pads but uh, decided I really prefer to stencil with paint and I'm getting a little bit better at it. I have learned that um, if you use too much paint, it it bleeds under and gets really globby, but if you can get just the right amount of paint on there, um, I like that effect. So as I'm going, I kind of realizing this yellow is way too bright. I really want to mute it. So I just added some white to kind of soften it. And um, yeah, so if you don't know where I'm going with this, this page is actually, going to be um, cut from a from the back side so I won't see the shapes that I'm cutting out which is kind of fun I love the surprise of randomness <laughs> we're like oh I like how this one did oh I like how that one did so you'll see in a minute how I'm going to do that but to make the master board you can just do anything you want you can stamp and stencil and um, but if your intention is to cut it out some people make like bookmarks or tags Um, or just other elements that then they use for their um, scrapbooking or journaling. Then I finished up with just a little splatter paint of white to go over my all my funky designs and I do have a tendency to go way overboard on everything (laughs) so you could definitely create a master board that's a little more simplistic. I just was having fun going crazy. So That's what it looks like. And then I turn it over and I just used a, um, something to stencil out, to trace out um, circles. So this is the Pinterest post that I borrowed the idea from as far as having like different colored circles and I am gonna uh, cut out some hearts to go over them. Um, Oftentimes when I, feel like I don't know what to do next I go to Pinterest and just scroll through and just even grab one element Um, I rarely try to copy a page but there's nothing wrong with doing that I mean you can as long as you give them credit if you're gonna do anything with it but um, you know borrowing ideas I've said that a million times like we we learn by imitation I mean even like look at every little toddler who learns to talk and walk and do everything so 
nothing wrong with, um, and you are always welcome to borrow any of the ideas that you see on any of my videos, which, you know, many of them I may have borrowed from someone else. There's nothing new under the sun, really. And we always add our own flair to things. This is an old encyclopedia I got from Goodwill that I'm using the pages for, um, which is kind of nice because since it's a book that I can tear pages out of, I don't have as much loose, um, like, newspaper type backgrounds floating around and with newspaper I don't know if many people use newspaper but then you don't have that ink either so I figured out that as I was cutting out these hearts that you can um, layer multiple at a time and cut them out so even right here I just played around with it moved around the circles and couldn't quite not I didn't really love any of the formats, but I tend to default to groups of three. Um, and then I thought I'd try to balance the page out by putting um, them in the opposite corners. Um, but I will, you'll see here in a minute where I feel like I kind of get stuck. And, um, I have an awesome Facebook group. Um, I'll put a link below, Mixed Media and Art Journaling. Um, they are, it's a great community, lots of support, lots of good advice if you ask for it, <laughs> you know. Um, and I did, I asked people to be brutally honest with me, give me like, you know, what can I do to save this page? And I got some really, really good suggestions. So I'll show you that in a minute. But here I thought I was getting really creative with how can I use the scraps from my little mess, um, master board to create some more elements that are interesting on my page. Um, I do kind of like the waves up there at the top. No, not even kind of, I really do like them. And this element down here, I thought it was really funky and interesting. And then once I glued it down though, it just kind of felt like, I don't know, just weird. <laughs> I'm not hypercritical of myself. I usually can um, either um, just kind of shrug, shrug it off and say, oh, well, you know, it's not my favorite. But this page was to the point where, since I loved the background, it's like, I need to do something more with it. So um, that's when I elicited some advice. And so that's... You know, I, I titled this video, How I Saved the Page I Didn't Like, and and really it was asking for some help. And um, sometimes other people will see things that we just we just don't, you know? That's just true in everything in life. That's why we, we need each other. So here's my blah. This is the picture that I sent to my group and I said, what can I do with it? And I let it rest for a few days and I showed people where I was at and I got, you know, lots and lots and lots of advice. And, um, some people even kind of took a snapshot and drew out some suggestions like what I could do. One thing was, um, creating contrast by, um, different values. So like the richness of a color. Um, so I'm kind of, and in combination with that is like using gesso or here I'm using actually white acrylic paint cause my gesso is so thin to kind of mute the background a little bit and then um, creating more contrast by, um, by using black, uh, which is something I'm finding I'm doing more and more lately on my pages and I really like it. It's just kind of a easy way to create spaces that you want to pop and give it lots of contrast and interest. A few other suggestions that I got were to connect these two pieces on this left side of the page. So the two elements, the, the group of circles and the funky thing on the bottom to create one element. And uh, someone suggested even making a tree out of it, which I'm kind of going for, but letting it just kind of be a very whimsical um, tree-like image. Outlining the hearts in black definitely improved it like a thousand percent to make them pop off the page. And I don't know if you notice, I actually only glued like the center of the heart. So I allowed the flap to kind of come up on the edges of the heart so that when you're flipping through the pages, you'll be able to um, 
get a little lift on the hearts. So they're like kind of flying off the page. So right here, I kind of completed that outline of that circle um, in that group, which I only caught that because I paused and looked through my camera. That really helps to have things kind of jump out at you that you need to, like maybe something you missed if you're doing a pattern or something and something looks off. So if you're not recording your process, um, it might even help to just snap a picture of it and look at it that way because it flattens it. It's, I don't know, it just does something with your eye. I've also heard the suggestion of, of turning the page and looking at it upside down or sideways can help you catch those little things that you might've missed as you were going along. So I looked on Pinterest to find maybe a caption that would be suitable for this page. And this one just jumped off at me as perfect. Just try something different. So I adapted it slightly. If when something isn't working out, try something different. Isn't that good advice? Sometimes we can do the same thing over and over and expect different results or we just give up. So I noticed that my pages felt like two separate pages that instead of one cohesive layout, again, I think I caught that by looking through the screen 
and realizing I needed to extend my little whimsical tree-like um, object into the other page. And so I think that really helped to bring the two page spread together. So was this bugging any of you that I didn't do my little eyelashes on the circle? Isn't it funny how we can overlook things? But I caught it, so it's all good. So there it is, the page I saved. And I did that by asking for suggestions and adding more contrast between values and using black. And so I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I hope you enjoyed my video. Go make some art.